Hello World. This is Maya Sundermeyer, and tonight I'm going to talk to you about autism and, and interests. Because uh, there is a majority of people on the spectrum that have a uh, why have uh, various limited interests. And uh, say, for instance, you may have George over here who is interested in trains. And he may talk about anything from transportation trains to the local steam engine to Amtrak and talk about different destinations like going different destinations where you can take a train like let's say you want to take a train from um, Atlanta to Orlando and talk about the design of the trains and talk about who now uh, conducts the trains and the history of trains. Uh, then you have somebody like Susie who is a video game fanatic and they're going to be uh, not only playing the games but they're going to talk about the depth of, of the video game like the reason behind Super Mario Brothers 3 and the character development between Mario, Luigi, and Princess Peach. And um, they may even talk, may, I mean, some of them might even go on to create their own versions of video games that are probably similar to Super Mario's. Uh, now for me, my interests were, you know, uh, my interests varied. Um, during my childhood years, I was, uh, I've always been fascinated with cartoons. And in fact, I still am today. And I mean, today, right now, I'm obsessed with My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. So that's my whole world. But it was uh, during my childhood years, through my mid-teens, I was in love with uh, anything, any, any of the full-length Disney movies. Like, when I was 8, 9, and 10, I liked The Little Mermaid. And I learned the songs. I talked about Ariel. I talked about why in the world Ursula was so greedy to take away Ariel's voice. And that. Uh, then when I was 13 years old, I would talk about anything else, like The Lion King or The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And, and then, and then, or any Disney movie that Maya could get her hands on. And then I outgrew the Disney phase by the time I reached high school when, uh, when James Cameron's uh, Titanic blockbuster hit theaters in December of 1997. And it was uh, from that that I grew a uh, major fascination to actor Leonardo DiCaprio. In fact, not only did I collect pictures of him, I had talked about where he was born, how, he, when he was born, um, what movies he was in, what, uh, what his favorite food was, what his favorite colors, what kind of tennis shoes did Leo like to wear, what, um, when, it, when will Leonardo DiCaprio be up for another Oscar because he's a brilliant actor, just, or uh, Leo in the news anything like that. And then um, I ended up uh, having an obsession with cats, and, and, and which I've always loved cats since I was six years old, but I used to talk about them all the time. Or, or whenever, whenever cats were around, I would shut everything else out just to learn, get the cat to like me so I could pet it. And then, uh, and then, well, then when I first moved out on my own and I was living with my two roommates, I grew out of Leonardo after a five-year-long obsession with him, and I fell in love with uh, Tolkien and Middle Earth and the Lord of the Ring movies. Then I ended up moving, moving in with my aunt, and she discovered my lim limited interest and decided that she was going to broaden them. Um, uh, some of the things that she did was she she took me to different locations. Like one time we went on a trip 
just so that we could um, attend a music festival. And she took me to the took me to uh, to the orchestra. We watched an opera. Um, we also uh, we also went to a ballet another time. And then I went to uh, the um, the autism center where I live, and they did different field trips and uh, field trips to broaden our interests. Like again, they took me to uh, Puccini's uh, ballet version and production of. Uh, what was it, Madame Butterfly, and I mean my, my interest just began to gradually grow. Uh, and while I knew I knew that uh, it was it was hard for me to to broaden my interest, I knew that it was very beneficial. And in fact, I am so glad that I am not talking about. Simba or Leonardo DiCaprio or just My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I want to have a wide variety of interests so that uh, people don't think I'm boring. So until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.